Hi guys, we're going to be doing um, capacity. Remember, this was originally scheduled for week three, so I need you to go be a big kid, and I want you to find week three. It's still in the pink handwriting. It's got the numeral three. You are looking for math. Remember, math starts with the letter M, math, week three. It has a picture of an airplane, pizza, Okay, I want you guys to go find it. Pause the video if you need to. Okay. When you're ready, unpause the video and keep flipping. One, two, three. To this page right here. Titled, The Three Bears and the Cup Mix Up. Alright. Do you guys remember the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? So Goldilocks came in and she drank their porridge and she made a big mess. She broke Baby Bear's chair. She made a big mess of their house. So this is the story of what happens next. Okay, I want you guys to listen carefully, and I'll tell you when you need to write something down. Right now, you're just listening. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a little cabin in the woods. Mama Bear and Baby Bear loved living there. It was so quiet and peaceful. One day, they heard a knock at their door. I wonder who that is, said Papa Bear as he went to answer the door. As soon as he opened the door, he saw Goldilocks. Hi, Goldilocks, said Papa Bear. Hi there, replied Goldilocks. I wanted to apologize for the mess I caused in your house a while back. I am really sorry. Oh, that's nice that she's apologizing. I forgive you, said Papa Bear. I brought you, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear each a present said Goldilocks as she showed Papa Bear the green bag. There is only one problem. On the way over, I dropped the bag and all the presents got mixed up. I'm going to need your help to figure out which one belongs to you, Goldilocks said as they in went inside the cabin. Once they all got inside the cabin, Goldilocks and the three bears gathered around the table and took the presents out of the bag. They were shiny new cups, one for each of them. Oh yeah, shouted Baby Bear. We need new cups. I am going to need you to help me figure out which one is yours, Baby Bear, Goldilocks said as she picked up a cup. Let's start with this one. We need to figure out which one holds the most because that cup is Papa Bear's. The one that holds the least is Baby Bear. And the other one will be Mama Bear's cup, said Goldilocks as she grabbed some pom-poms off of the shelf. Now, I don't have pom-poms. Instead, I'm going to use our counting bears. So I'm going to grab my counting bears off the shelf. Fill out row number one. Okay, I'm telling you what to do. Fill out row number one on your recording sheet. Draw the cup and estimate. Then measure cup number one. See how many counting bears it holds and record your answer. 
Okay, this is cup number one. So Goldilocks gave three cups, but we can't remember. She got them mixed up and she can't remember which one holds the most, which one holds the least, and which one's in the middle. So she said, we're gonna start with this one. We're gonna call this cup number one. And we're gonna put some counting bears in there until it reaches the top. Okay. Oh, and she wants you to fill out row number one right here. So find row number one. We're gonna draw what the cup looks like and we're gonna give our estimate. So pause the video, go get your supplies. Okay, so you will need crayons and a pencil. Remember, Miss Tamplin writes in blue marker, you write in pencil. All right, what does the first cup look like? Cup number one. Cup number one is tall and skinny. It's skinnier than the rest of them. Cup number one, right here, is tall and skinny. Let me face this down a little bit more. Okay, coming down. Okay. Cup number one is tall and skinny. Okay. Now my estimate, remember estimate means guess. So I want you to guess how many bears cup number one will hold. Just take a guess. Guess a number, one to 100, just make a guess. I'm gonna guess 20. My guess is 20. If you don't wanna have the same guess as me, that's okay. I'm gonna pick the number 20. Now we need to fill it up. So I'm going to take my bears, my counting bears, I'm going to take some handfuls and I'm going to fill it all the way to the top. Okay, I'm not there yet. It's not full. So I need to keep going all the way to the top. Whoa. Then I'm almost there. I don't want it to overflow, but I do want it to be nice and full to the top. Okay, I think that's a really good amount. Oh my goodness, that is so many bears. <gasps> wow. All right, now we have to count it. I'm going to move these out of the way, my paper out of the way. <gasps> this is going to be a big counting project. Okay, here I go. I want you at home to practice counting. Help me out. Okay, I'm going to use the move and count method. Remember, we talk a lot about counting strategies. So I'm going to use the move and count strategy. So here's my pile here. I'm going to count. I'm going to move and count. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Okay, so the tall and skinny cup held 48 bears. So it holds 48. Four and then an eight. Okay, you're going to write that number right here. It actually held 40. 
was our answer. Was my guess right? Was my estimate right? No, it was too small. My guess was too small. It actually held 40 bears. I'm sorry, 48 bears. My goodness. Four and then an eight. See, everyone makes mistakes. You just X them out and fix it. 48. All right, that one held 48. I'm gonna put them all in there. A lot of bears in that tall skinny cup. Did that surprise you? Or did you think the tall one is? Do you think the tall one's going to hold the most? Do you think this is going to be Papa Bear's? It's a pretty high number. It holds 48. Let's keep going and find out. Thank you for help re helping me measure that cup, declared Goldilocks. Now fill out row number two and please help me measure cup number two. Okay, we're going to use this one. Cup number two. Do you think cup number two is going to hold more or less? Hmm. I think it might hold less. So I'm going to make my estimate smaller. So I'm going to draw it. It's short. It's a little bit wider. Then that other one, so I'm going to make it a little bit wider. Put the handle on it. Now, it looks smaller, so I'm going to guess a smaller number than 48. I think I'll guess 30. I think that sounds like a good guess. Remember, you could make your own guess. But I do think that it's going to hold less than cup number one. So I'm going to guess a smaller number than 48. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We have cup number two, and we'll fill it up with bears. Okay, not to the top yet. I have to go all the way to the top if I want to know how much something holds. Remember, we don't want to overflow it. Okay, oh, I think that was Perfect. Remember when we were measuring and I said it's got to be nice and level at the top? I think that looks perfect. Okay, cup number two is full. Now the last step is to count. So very carefully, I'm going to pour them out right here. Again, I'm going to use the move and count strategy. I can even put them back in the cup as I count. Here we go. Help me out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. Oh, my guess was so close. Remember, I guessed. 30. That was a pretty close guess. I'm going to give myself a high five. All right. Cup number two holds 31 bears. So it does hold less than the tall and skinny cup. So I'm going to write my answer right here. 31 Okay, last one. You are doing awesome, exclaimed Goldilocks. Finally, please fill out row number three and then help me measure cup number three. How many units it holds? See how many units it holds and record your answer. Hmm, cup number three is giving me of a, a confusion, kind of some a challenge, because it's shorter than all three cups. So let me draw it first. First things first, I'll draw it right here. It's wider, it's, that means fatter, it's fatter than the rest of the cups. 
but it's also shorter. Do you think it's going to hold more bears than the taller cups or less bears? Hmm. What do you think? I'm going to leave that guess up to you. I'm not going to make a guess there, but I want you to guess. Decide what you think and write it right there. I want, I'm wanting you to take a picture of this and send it to me later. Okay. I want you to make a guess. Do you think cup number three is going to hold more bears than 48 and 31? Or do you think because it's shorter, it's going to hold less bears? Okay, make your guess, then take a picture. All right, let's measure, let's find out. Okay, we're still not up there to the top, so I'm gonna keep going. I feel like I'm putting quite a few bears in here. Maybe a few more. Okay, I think that's pretty level right to the top. Oh, that one's even. All right, I'm going to dump and count. Whoa, that seems like a lot. Here we go, cut number three. One, two, remember to count with me. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 31. It already holds 31. So it, we, and it's not full, so we know it's bigger than that one. But it's shorter. Does that surprise you? Okay, 31. Let's keep going. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48. Oh, the tall, the tallest one holds 48. And this one's at 48, and we still have some bears left. Let's keep going. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Oh. <gasps> This one holds 53. We write a 53 with a 5 and a 3. 53. <gasps> okay, we've got all three of our cups measured. Let's get our paper. Remember, you make your guess there. We're going to write the answer here. 53. Okay, so I've got cup number one holds 48, cup number two holds 31, cup number three holds 53. So we have to know which one's the biggest, in the middle, and then the smallest. We have measured all the cups, said Mama Bear. Now we need to figure out which one is ours. Take a look at your recording sheet, said Goldilocks. Which cup holds the least amount? That one is Baby Bear's. Which one held the most? Okay, let's find out first which one held the least. Okay, look at your recording sheet. You have the number 48, 31, 53. Which one is the smallest number? 31 is the smallest number. So this cup right here held 31 bears. So this cup, cup number two, belongs to Baby Bear. This is Baby Bear's cup. Baby Bear has cup number one. His sticker doesn't like to stay on. Baby Bear's cup. Which one held the most? Okay, we have these two. Which one held the most? Which one's bigger, 48 or 53? 
The 50 family comes after the 40 family, so we know the 50 family is bigger. 53 is bigger than 48. So this short cup, the shortest cup, actually holds the most bears. If you are surprised by that, I want you to let me know if that really surprises you. So this is Papa Bear's cup. He got the pretty red cup. So if you want to draw him in red, make sure you do it. Okay. The other cup, the one in the middle, is Mama Bear's cup. So Mama Bear gets a tall skinny cup that holds 48 bears. We have Papa Bear, Mama Bear, Baby Bear's cups. We did it. Oh, Goldilocks, we can't thank you enough for our presents. We love them, exclaimed Papa Bear. It's the least I could do, said Goldilocks. Thank you for helping me solve the mixed up cup mystery. I'd better be going though. My mom is making dinner and I have to start heading home, said Goldilocks as they walked outside. They all said their goodbyes and the Bear family headed back inside to enjoy a refresh refreshing glass of orange juice in their new cups. So Papa Bear has the most orange juice, Baby Bear has the least, and Mama Bear's right in the middle. The end. Okay, so now to finish it up, you get to draw a picture of Papa Bear's cup, Mama Bear's cup, and Baby Bear's cup. So Papa Bear's cup is red, so I'm going to get my red crayon out. His cup is the shortest and the fattest but it holds the most bears. Move it down so you can see my drawings. So here's Papa Bear. I'm gonna give him the short, fat, another word is wide. We can use the word wide, that means it's the fattest. Here's the handle, holds the most. Next is Mama Bear. It's Mama Bear, so it's the tallest and the skinniest. It's a clear glass. I'm just going to use the color yellow. Tall and skinny. It holds right in the middle. It's right in the middle. Baby Bear's cup is clear, too. It's the shortest. Actually, I'm sorry, it's the second shortest, but it's shorter than Mama Bear's. Skinnier than Papa Bear's, though. It holds the least. All right. Let me know if you were surprised that Papa Bear had the shortest but widest red cup. Or if you thought that because it was so wide that it might actually hold the most. Let me know how you did. All right, guys, tomorrow we're going to talk more about capacity. So keep your week three papers handy. So this is how we measure capacity. We get it right up to the top, and then we count the number that it holds. You guys did a great job. Thank you all for playing along.